Oh my gosh, we are finally back at Animal Kingdom and I cannot even believe it. the cast member preview for about 30 minutes today and that is right I said cast member preview my friend Michael actually invited me to come today he had one extra spot and Josh actually had to work so it worked out perfectly we stopped to get some Starbucks and as you can see there is nobody walking behind me right now so I know there are definitely people still parking and coming in but the process to get into the park was actually super quick this morning basically it took a little while to park but once you got parked you walked right up to the temperature screening security is a new system and it's a whole new pavilion so it was super super fast to walk through there and then you walked up to the gate and came into the park like super quick the safari was our first ride today they have dividers between every seat so they are actually able to fill every row on the trucks and if you can't tell I have my mask off so because of the dividers you don't have to wear your mask on the ride your driver will tell you you can take your mask off and then before the end of the ride you have to put your mask back on so quite nice to be able to enjoy the safari and this is a perfect first ride so I said that was a really great safari, but I didn't exactly explain why. So yes, you got to take your mask off because there were dividers between all the seats, but that was not the reason I enjoyed it so much. I was really skeptical about coming to the parks, having to wear a mask, having all these precautions and everything. I just wasn't really sure how it was exactly gonna work um, and be enjoyable. However, we got on that safari and seeing all the animals and just having all that magic brought back, like. I didn't think I was gonna get emotional coming here because I'm just like, oh, we're like gonna just see how this goes. But that safari made me remember why I come here in the first place and it was awesome. So I still haven't said why I love that safari. <laughs> we saw baby zebras, baby flamingos. No the lion was roaring, which was amazing because that does not happen all the time. And there were just so many animals out overall. Like it was the perfect first ride being back in the parks but so far the cast members have been great um, I have seen every single person wearing a mask so far so that is the one big thing that I know a lot of people have been worried about so that has not been an issue so we are back into Pandora and let me tell you the craziest thing is being in here and well, not having a huge crowd like this is insane you can actually walk around you can move it feels like <laughs> it doesn't feel like we're in pandora only because there's not a huge herd of people around but it is quite nice we're able to get some really nice photos without people in the way which is crazy to think about but really really awesome i don't think i have ever seen this before since pandora has opened but flight of passage is currently a five minute wait the park has been open for an hour and a half for this cast preview. That is crazy. We have now made our way over to Dino Land and 
so far things have been going really well. I've seen a lot of people using hand sanitizer, everybody standing on the like stand here lines in all of the attraction queues. So I think everybody's doing pretty well abiding by the rules so far. And wait times have been super short. We're about to do dinosaur, it's five minutes. We did the safari, it was five minutes. We did flight of passage, it was five minutes. So this is pretty good. what the capacity is for this cast member preview, but there is pretty much nobody walking around Dino Land right now. And I already said that it was a five minute wait for the three attractions that we've ridden so far. And we've kind of just taken our time and like walked around and like, this isn't really like running weather because with the mask and with it being so hot, um, you know, you kind of just got to take your time and enjoy the park. So this has been thoroughly enjoyable. <laughs> We are now in the queue for Everest. It does say it's a five minute wait, so hopefully that is the case, which it pretty much looks like it will be. But on our way over here, crossing the bridge from Dino Land over into Asia, we saw some boats come by with a band on, and there were even characters, Pocahontas and Miko. So here at Animal Kingdom, as of right now, that's kind of the way you can see characters, which I actually really enjoyed that. Like, watching them wave at you and just kind of standing there on the bridge as they passed by. So I know they have more characters out. Those are just the ones that we saw so far. So we've been on four different attractions now and something I have noticed is they're doing like some barriers but in different ways on the different attractions. So basically if you're going to be standing right next to another party they have some sort of barrier up there. So the nice thing on the safari was is they were filling the trucks completely and just keeping your individual parties in each row and then there were barriers up in between each row. Then on Flight of Passage, uh, we were actually, I think, the only people on our flight because I looked around and I saw absolutely nobody else. So I'm not exactly sure how they're doing it for Flight of Passage. I'm sure they're leaving like space in between different groups. Um, on Dinosaur, today, because there were barely any people waiting in line for that attraction, they were only putting one family per vehicle. Now on Everest, they're pretty much seating every other row but if your party takes up more than one row, they will put your party in rows right together and then leave a row empty and then the next party after that. It's still amazing me how low the crowd levels are right now. So like I said earlier, I'm not sure what it's gonna be like when the park is open to the public and not just a cast member preview, but this is kind of practice to see how it's gonna go for the public. So if crowds end up being like this, for a while while it's limited capacity, we're gonna be in real good shape. eating lunch at Satouli Canteen and if you can't tell behind me it is pouring down rain so I'm gonna put the big camera away for a little bit and hopefully this will clear up soon.
It is now 3.15 p.m. Flight of passage is still a five minute wait. It has been all day. So I know I keep saying this over and over again, but I just don't know what the actual capacity is of this cast member preview compared to what the capacity is going to be when the park officially opens in a couple of days. So if this is any indicator of what it's going to be like, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Even if it is a little bit of a wait, I mean, it's still gonna be less than it probably would be on a regular day. So I said in the beginning that my friend Michael actually brought me here today as one of his guests. And since he is a cast member, he is going to give a little bit of his perspective of what he thinks of all of these new safety measures and basically the overall experience in the park for right now. Yeah, so uh, today was actually a good day as far as the difference between a, like a regular day and what they're doing now um, with all the social distancing and the everything in place. I think Disney has done a really good job. I've been to some of the other theme parks in the area and in comparison, Disney has done a really good job as far as uh, the hand sanitizer stations, the social distancing markers, um, the different shields between some of the ride queues, um, and just kind of in general, making sure people are still practicing the social distancing. Um, of course, it's in that nice magical Disney way to make sure you're wearing your mask, you're keeping your distance, washing your hands, all that stuff. So I think for the people, the uh, other guests who are coming here for vacation, whether it's your first time, your hundredth time, whatever, I think you're still gonna have a really good time here at the parks, even though with all these new uh, systems in place. So I wouldn't put it off if you uh, can't or you just don't want to, um, because I think you're still gonna have a really good time. All right, guys, well, I think that is finally gonna do it for me here at Animal Kingdom today. This is the longest I have been out in a long time. So I'm really excited I got to enjoy the whole park. We got to do pretty much everything we wanted to do. And I mean, the park is still open for a few more hours, so we actually could stay and do a few more things, but we're just pretty exhausted <laughs> because we're not all used to all this park time again. So we'll build our stamina back up. I definitely think just like Michael said, Disney is doing an awesome job of implementing all of these safety measures. I honestly did not know what to expect because this is my first time coming back to a park since all of this has happened. I haven't been to SeaWorld or Universal yet, only Disney Springs and City Walk. So it's really interesting to see how they are doing all this. And I think so far that the cast members are handling it really well. So they definitely do have signs up showing you about social distancing and hand washing and wearing your mask and sneezing and coughing into your elbow if that is something that you have to do. And you know, just frequent hand washing is the biggest thing you got to think about. One of my favorite parts of the day was obviously riding Flight of Passage, but I loved being able to get on the safari and they had the like barriers up in between each row. So we were able to take our mask off and it really felt like we were enjoying the park like we have been able to all these years. That was something I really enjoyed today. And I think it was the perfect way for me to come back into Disney World. They do also have a like mask like break area. It's over at Pizza Fari. Um, I actually did not go inside there. We just kind of walked past it and I saw the sign for it. And you do still have to maintain social distancing, but it's kind of like in restaurants where you would sit down at a table and be able to take your mask off at your table. But yeah, overall, we had an awesome day. We got to do everything we wanted to do. And I think this is gonna go pretty well. So I'm interested to see what it's like with actual crowds of the public and not just the cast members and friends, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty well. Let us know if you are planning on coming back to Walt Disney World soon and what you think about everything that's going on with all these new safety measures. And we will see you all in the next one.